I mean, Cassie really opened up the door for all these lawsuits. And so we know the federal government has interviewed several of the witnesses from the civil lawsuits. Again, the government just doesn't go in if they don't think they can win this case. You know, part of the allegations is that uh, a, a lot of this footage and sex trafficking is on tape, was recorded, was filmed, and you saw the police walking out of his house with computers. What else are they going to find? His folks connect back in the building. And the situation with P. Diddy is not looking pretty. You got Homeland Security raided two of his properties. And you got to think about Lil Rod done told a lot. He gave names, photos, he recorded situations, and he told these people that Diddy got hidden cameras. And he got footage of all of the things that he was doing. So as we see these officers are now walking out of Diddy uh, Mansion, with computers, with hard drive, going straight to the focus of their investigation. And Homeland Security specialized in these sex trafficking cases. In every case that Diddy got against him, with all these civil lawsuits, shining lights and situations, the feds always pick up cases. And this is Homeland Security, just a different extension of a federal branch. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta think about one thing. When your time is up, your time is up. You know what I'm saying? Because, okay, you had Cassie come out. She filed her lawsuit. That paperwork didn't go nowhere to the court of law. They could still go back and see what she spoke on in these in these investigations. What she spoke on in her allegations towards Diddy. Then you got the girl that they saying she was 17 years old and they assaulted her, pretty much ran a train on her back in the 90s when things like this went on in a normal way in the hip hop world. You know what I'm saying? And you got to look at sometimes you have to be aware that things of your past will come back to hunt you. And But the thing about Diddy, most of the people that was doing this stuff back then, when you see them now, they're more mature, they carry themselves in a different light, and, but Diddy is not staying away from this persona. So you gotta look at this is really him, man. He is like a really a sexual deviant. Because for you to have the money, the mansions you got, the homes you have, the power, the money, the cars, and everything you have, you have to force somebody to do something, you have to drug somebody behind their back to get what you want. Man, I did everything I wanna do with a couple grand. So I can only imagine 50 million, a billion dollars to your access. And you tell me you have to force a woman to do something? That sound like a weirdo. When people do things like that, these are the weirdos of the world. The sick people, they just get in a position, but they show you how sick the world is. Because somebody else in with that same type of sexual nature are the people that put him there. And I say that because it is. He was nothing but a gatekeeper. This man was the supreme elite gatekeeper. He was vetting people to see, okay, would well, this person talk too much? He was putting people in compromising positions to where he was being the gate to open or close on your future, on your success. The man signed Cassie for a 10 album deal. What artist do we know that was hot for 10 albums worth of a deal? You have to be great to make it to five platinum albums or five al albums that the, the label will still consistently deal with you on because at some point you become not profitable. But this just show you the mind games that was played and then it show you the people that was around who telling these stories now. Nobody's telling new stories. So that mean these people sat around and pretty much contributed to what was going on. They was a part of it. If a person can tell you in an interview that they sat up there and they knew not to drink out of these particular bottles, but you gonna sit back and watch somebody else drink out of these bottles that y'all not gonna drink out of. You need drugs and you need alcohol to get a woman to do something you wanna do. It shouldn't even feel right that you wanna do something that another person don't wanna do. They just show you the nature of a sexual deviant type of person, man. You, some things, it's not about they going after you. It, these allegations been going on since the 90s. But money and power have kept it out the way. But you got to think about one thing. When you're talking about Homeland Security, they cannot be bought. 
you can't bound. You gonna have to surrender. You know what I'm saying? And the thing where Diddy slipped it, he never changed his persona. He knew all this stuff was going on. When he went to speaking on, on brother love, this, that, and the other, guess what? We just didn't know what was going on. He already knew all this was coming. But they also said in, in a clip that Diddy do not really have no fans. He just known as that prestigious guy who got money, got caught. We know he can do what he want to do in the black community. But who is really a fan of Diddy? But it's not good to do something strange for a little piece of change. It's not good to be a tag along and not focus on your own. You know what I'm saying? Because the only thing I see is these people put their life in another man's hands. Sometimes you have to focus on your surroundings and you got to pay attention to what's going on because this type of stuff happening just in regular everyday life. A person that ain't got nothing to smoke or got nothing to drink, a person sit there and spend $5 or $10 uh, on some day like. And, they, and it's the same situation. You know what I'm saying? It's just a manipulative behavior. It ain't about money. But with Diddy, it's like he did a lot of things just because he knew he had money. He knew he had power. And he was just doing all these sexual deviant things that was causing harm to other people. But when you talk about 20 years went by, 10 years went by, and you just bringing this out after some lawsuit money come up, these are civil suits that people bringing up. You know what I'm saying? These are civil suits. Nobody really came and did it in the way of a criminal. Homeland Security just picked this case up from all these civil suits. They saw all the ac accusations against Diddy. They saw the amount of people that was coming up against Diddy and Lil Rod accusations with evidence behind it was pretty much the icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? So really, in the situation, man, Diddy just probably need to wish for the best deal he can get. They got the computers out of his house. If the man was dealing with, with cameras, hidden cameras, and filming situations, and he was keeping all this stuff, they just go again to show of his nature. You know what I'm saying? So he'll be judged in a court of law. Hopefully he'll plead out because right now, when you're talking about Homeland Security going at this guy, they done already went through all this information with a fine tooth comb and they're not knocking on your door for no reason.